so hyped. And welcome back guys. So today is finally the day. I didn't think I was gonna do this as fast as I thought I would, but today we are finally getting wheels put on the S15 and this should complete the car. I almost got a set of work wheels, but buyer backed out. But thankfully I did want to get these wheels and just by the thumbnail, you probably already know what they are. And blow. So we got ourselves some 18 by nine and a half gram lights, 57 DR. They're literally the probably the cheapest uh, one piece wheels that you can actually get right now. You can't go wrong with bronze, especially brand new wheels. 18 by nine and a half might be a little aggressive. We're not too sure on this, but uh, we might have to put a spacer or not. I'm really hoping we don't have to, but bronze with the white can't go wrong. Such a, an iconic duo. And I just want to get started. We're going to start off with the rear first just cause uh, a little bit less to play around with. And then later down the road, we could go ahead and do an alignment, but all right, enough of me talking. Let's just get started. <laughs> actually gonna have to roll these uh, quarters here and the car can actually go a little bit lower but nine and a half is pretty good so the s15 is actually the most narrow out of all the s chests. s14 is definitely the biggest because I was able to fit like 11 with just a roll and still could put a pretty meaty fitment tire I think I had 245s on it all around actually and yeah the s15 is super narrow it's actually more narrow, like I just said, uh, compared to the S13, but the nine and a half should fit good. I wanted to do the white on white, but eh, it's always like a mixed feeling with white on white. I mean, the white on Mikey's with the Rega Masters on there on the FC, that looks sick, but eh, like I said, the white on white is just, I don't know, plus white is just so hard to keep clean. Bronze offset with the white, I think it looks good. And then I was thinking about doing silver or like a gunmetal, but then I was like, oh, it kind of looks like a, just an OEM wheel, but I'm pretty hyped on it. All right, let's go ahead, let's do the fronts. All right, this is where we're hitting into a problem, but it's okay because we have the solution for it. So right off the bat, uh, these are plus 38s, and those are the only ones in stock. 22 is what you ideally want to go with, but that's literally like an extra lead time and all that and I didn't want to wait for that. I talked to Clark and he's running 38s on his S15 and he put a five mil spacer on it. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna put that on. Because right now, don't mind the dusty brakes and rotors, but uh, right now it's not clearing the coil over. Once again, let's go to the parts department. And let's see what we got here. We got, I think those are 20 mils. We got 15 mils. These I think are three mils. I think these are three mils. I need some five. Oh, I got some 12. Oh no, these are 17 mils. Huh. All right, let's try the fives. All right, so I did some math and the five mil was actually just gonna bring it down to a 33, um, 33 positive offset so just to bring it down to the 22 like I wanted I'm just gonna go ahead and put the 15 mil even though the 15 mil in the back might be too aggressive the uh, 38 uh, minus the 12 which is the yay math uh, 26 so we'll just have a 26 offset and I think that should be good I'm gonna go slowly with this and I'm definitely using two hands to lower this bad boy down Put the wood underneath as well, that way we don't uh, hit the jack here, even though it's not that low. And all that good stuff, but uh, I should have rolled it. That way we don't cut into the tire. And I'm really 
I guess we could just heat it up and slowly go with a hammer, I guess. I might have to leave that for somebody else. But damn, this does look good. Sheesh. All right, now it looks good because the, the back, it just seemed too dark for a second. And I think it's just because of the lighting. But uh, yeah, this thing looks bueno. Yeah, this thing needs an alignment pretty bad. And you can see how sunken this side is compared to the other side. But let me know what you guys think. So everything is all good. New starter, fog lights, wheels, all this thing needs is just dialing in this fitment for this. But I think the bronze with the white looks so good. Let me know what you guys think. And now, and it's registered so we could drive this thing around. Oh, I'm so hyped. I didn't think I was gonna finish this car this year. Still early. Uh, we still got like two, three months to enjoy this car. So last thing that we need to do is just to wipe off all this ashiness, just like my elbows, and she should be good. S15 is pretty much already, but I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Ready, some goodness. Blah! Love it. What'd you do? Oh, on the other side here? Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Means little chicken details. Noodle soup. That's what it means? Oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> Fall seven times, get up eight. This nice. is the only thing that doesn't break, so. Nice. All right, this thing is sick. Brendan's getting ready to go out. Nice. A bit of liner in here. Gonna make some stickers for the back. Oh yeah. And uh, this parts hauler. These are good. These are so good. S15's out. Uh, so you can see the front is more aggressive than the rear. Gonna have to mess around with the rear there. Gonna have to put on a spacer. Roll all fours because that was literally the first thing I did not do, which is the first thing you should do. Fronts look good. Rears look eh. They don't look good at all. It's super concave or not even concave. They're just sunken in. So we got to fix that. Yeah, that does not look good at all. But this is going to be the first main voyage for it. So hopefully, cross my fingers, nothing happens. We're going to drive this home. This is literally like the first, first time that I'm actually going to be driving this. So let's go ahead. Oh, and I just got a new part that just came in straight from Nissan for this window seal here. So that's going to be a plus. We're gonna put that on and should be good. All right, get hyped. So far, it is indeed a success. So far, actually, the alignment's not too bad on it either. The springs, actually, the coil, I mean, the coilovers, they're actually okay. Brakes are pretty good. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty hyped on this. A little nerve wracking, even though it's like bone stock, so it should be okay. But. We'll know when we go on the highway. Oh yeah, I can hear, I can hear the exhaust leak. I can definitely hear the exhaust leak for sure. So that's one thing we definitely gotta fix. And I'm like super dark on the screen, but it's okay. All right, now we're just gonna enjoy. I need a radio, so hook your boy up. That SR is good, that SR actually sounds pretty sick. Oh man, I'm so hyped. I'm gonna start dailying this thing. And it's four cylinder, so we're good. Oh man, so bad news guys. My thing, if you see that, this shit is smoking like crazy. What the hell? So right now, I don't see the oil smoke anymore, but I can still smell it. And I don't know, best case scenario, which is a high Hail Mary hope, sitting from just being parked for two years that's like the inner <laughs> I don't know the inner Hail Mary in me hoping for that to be the issue but I got out of the car and I saw it smoking pretty bad so we'll see when we pull off all right so thankfully I'm near my house I don't see the smoke happening and I don't know I honestly don't know I don't see any smoke. I'm just like so paranoid right now. Cause that would literally just put me in such a bad mood. First drive and it's a fail. Oh. That's like. I don't see any smoke. Oh, what was that? What the hell? Bruh, 
This scared the hell out of me. This literally flew out. This was in the trunk though, so thankfully that was it. Oh man, I'm scaring the hell out of myself today, but like I said, that was literally like me just like launching it. I could, I can kind of smell oil, but I don't see the smoke coming out. And that's me like just... So I think that was a residual, residual oil, because I don't see it. So, I don't know. Just in time, shout out to Parts Shop Nissan literally ordered this like two days ago and this is the last piece of the puzzle that I needed for this window seal here and thankfully they had it I'm gonna be putting that on that way my window doesn't go like this anymore oh it's so good to have something nice and brand new nice clips new clips all that good stuff perfect there we go perfect like that no more movement nice and silent hell yeah all right, so cross our fingers, we did make it home. I don't see any smoke, but I definitely do smell it. So I'm hoping that's what it was. Uh, I can kind of see like a little tint of smoke, but not as bad as it was on camera. So I'm just really crossing my fingers. If you guys have, if you guys know or think of something, what it is, definitely let me know because that definitely scared me and I do not want this to be down because I just finished it so dude but it does look good it made its first way home its main voyage and I'm so nervous right now and my heart is like super beating so many things were happening all at once but I think it should be good I think I would mark it as a success I'm just gonna drive it a little bit around now I, I don't even know what to say right now just because my heart is beating i'm nervous so many things are happening at once like i said and but it does look good so i'm hyped on that so stay tuned guys for more content we're going to be drifting the z is pretty much all set just got to get in alignment on that and we should be sliding this weekend we got a new renter he's going to be with us for quite some time he's going to be drifting as well mikey's car is pretty much ready so he's going to be drifting as well so stay tuned guys